Hi, I'm Don Farnham. I'm a construction safety engineer in the Facility and Operations Directorate. I was honored to serve three terms as the commander of the Brookhaven National Laboratory Veterans Association, and in my former role as president of the Calverton National Cemetery Support Committee. Calverton National Cemetery is the largest national cemetery on the entire East Coast. The Brookhaven Veterans Association has conducted a lot of Memorial Day ceremonies, some at the flagpole outside Brookhaven Center, some inside. But this is our very first virtual tribute, and I'm truly grateful for you taking the time today to join us as we honor all those who made the ultimate sacrifice in service to this nation. I'd like to thank the many people at Brookhaven for their support. To my fellow members of the BVA, including our commander, Shirley Kendall, and to all our colleagues across the site. I would also like to thank the lab's leadership team, including Dr. Dune Gibbs, and to Bob Gordon and everyone at the DOE Brookhaven site office. I'd especially like to recognize all our colleagues and family members who have served, who are currently serving, as well as any among us who have lost a loved one in service. We are humbled by your sacrifices, knowing they are great, and we commend the demonstrations of courage and strength that you have no doubt shown in the most difficult of times. For most employees at Brookhaven today, the name Garfield Langhorn wouldn't sound familiar. He worked at the lab when the facility's operations directorate was still called Plan Engineering. He retired in 1987 and passed in 2008. With the greatest respect for our former colleague, I'd like to tell you less about him and more about his son this Memorial Day. Garfield Langhorn Jr. was a private first class in the United States Army during the Vietnam War, where he worked as a radio operator. In 1970, PFC Langhorn was presented with the Congressional Medal of Honor. That's the highest military decoration for someone serving in the United States Armed Forces. It's presented by our president on behalf of Congress for valor above and beyond in action against an enemy force. But PFC Langhorn wasn't there to receive this recognition, or his Purple Heart. He was killed in action one year prior. When an enemy grenade landed near him and wounded members of his platoon, without reservation or concern for himself, he threw himself on top of the grenade, scooping it beneath his body, absorbing its full and devastating impact, thereby sacrificing himself and saving the lives of his comrades. We're reminded of the verse, Greater love hath no man than this, that a man laid down his life for his friends. Garfield died a hero in the jungles of Vietnam. He was 20 years old. Today, he and his father are buried in Riverhead, not far from the lab. On this Memorial Day, we remember our former colleague's son. More than 1.1 million men and women who have been killed while serving in our nation's military during wartime since the Revolutionary War. Add to them those who were wounded or perhaps worse went missing, and the number is closer to 2.8 million. 2,800,000 people killed, wounded, or missing. Some prepared for battle from our lab site back when it was the Army's Camp Upton. All were sons and daughters, some were sisters and brothers, husbands, wives, fathers, and mothers. Friends woven into the fabric of their communities here on Long Island and across the nation. President Franklin Delano Roosevelt once lamented, those who have long enjoyed such privileges as we enjoy forget in time that men have died to win them. We gather for Memorial Day because we haven't forgotten. Even though we can't come together in person, because of a new enemy within our midst, the coronavirus, we ground ourselves with the reality that every Gold Star mother sadly knows firsthand. On Memorial Day, this is what we take to heart. We can be here today largely thanks to those who are not. They were mourned and are mourned. They were missed and are missed. They are loved and forever they will be. On this Memorial Day and in the year ahead, come what may, please recognize and remember those who are no longer with us and those who are still with us, including our veterans who are injured and ill. Though physically distant, we can work together with friends, neighbors, 
and veterans groups like the Brookhaven Veterans to ensure that the sacrifices they made never go unappreciated, that their memories are never forgotten. Please reach out to find ways you can help care for those who served and the families of those who are left behind. In this time of social distancing, we have to be creative and keep ourselves and others safe. But yet the post office is still delivering mail. Disabled vets still need help with food and medicine deliveries. A simple phone call still goes a long way. And if you're so inclined, I doubt that any veteran home, VA hospital, or any veteran organization would turn away a small measure of your kindness. Do what you feel is best. Help in the ways you can help, and you can always reach out to members of the Brookhaven Veterans with ideas or questions. While 90% of our colleagues are working remotely, sheltered away safely during this terrible pandemic, myself included, it would do well for us to remember all our colleagues and community members who have deemed essential. Some are first responders, they are all have important roles. We should take particular pride in knowing that the lab is pushing science forward in the worldwide fight against COVID-19. Some of our lab colleagues are studying characteristics of the coronavirus to guide development of therapeutic drugs and vaccines. Some are using experiments and computation to help identify drugs and vaccines that show the most promise. And the laboratory gathered critical protective equipment as part of a federal effort to support medical professionals. Throughout our most difficult and challenging times, we have endured. New Yorkers have endured. And our nation fights on. Please keep our first responders, our essential workers, and all military men and women close to your heart today and through the rest of the year. On behalf of the officers and the entire membership of the Brookhaven Veterans Association, thank you for joining in our first ever virtual Memorial Day tribute. And thank you for remembering the true reason for Memorial Day. We honor Garfield and all who fight so valiantly as we pay tribute to those who gave the ultimate sacrifice. In doing so, we ensure that their memories and that for which they stood live on. Please be well, stay safe, and until we see each other again, take care.